Mr. James Wilder, demure and courtly, but with some trace of that wild terror still lurking in his furtive eyes and twitching features. You have come to see his grace. I am sorry, but the fact is that the Duke is far from well. He has been uh, very much upset by the tragic news. We received a telegram from Dr. Huxtable yesterday afternoon, which informed us of, of your discoveries. I must see the Duke, Mr. Wilder. But he's in his room. Then I must go to his room. I believe he's in bed. I will see him there. Holmes' cold and inexorable manner showed his secretary that it was useless to argue with him. Very good, Mr. Holmes. I shall tell him that you're here. Ah. <clears throat> the fact is, Your Grace, that my colleague Dr. Watson and myself had an assurance from Dr. Huxtable that a reward had been offered in this case. I should like to have this confirmed from your own lips. Certainly, Mr. Holmes. It amounted, if I am correctly informed, to £5,000. To anyone who will tell you where your son is. 